Hey everyone, New Third Twelve here, and welcome to my end of the year review, where I'm gonna just talk about how the channel's been doing over the last year and where I see myself in the future of next year and how I feel like we tackled this year versus how we did previous years. First, I'd like to just start off and say thank you all so much for watching my stuff. It's been crazy seeing all the different amounts of people that watch my shit, and I don't know why they do, they just do, and it really makes my day seeing different numbers go up and all that kind of stuff, because knowing someone is enjoying something that I'm making is really humbling, honestly, because you never understand like just how much something means to someone, I guess, until they tell you about it. And seeing the responses sometimes I get from people about some stuff I say and other stuff about it, it's really it's really heartening to see that. And it really makes it worth it. All, all the effort of putting through videos and all that. It really that's why I do it. Other than it's actually fun to do and I like talking. <laughs> Because I love hearing myself talk constantly, I'm sure. But seeing that other people get some form of joy out of it and some entertainment value uh, is really sweet. I really didn't think that was going to be ever a thing that people were because when I started, no one was watching my shit. I mean, <laughs> people who have been here for a while already know like how many views I'd get. I got shit. Ten? Maybe 20? In the month? I mean, it was crazy. Just seeing the different growth and everything. Even last year, I talked about how everything was record-breaking. And that I was had the most views, the most watch time, the most subs I'd ever had. And this year is doing the exact same thing, but on that one. There's more watch time, there's more views. Not as many subs. But I attribute that to going down to one video a month. Or a week, a day versus only one or versus three a day like that cuts down on the amount of stuff I can get to and all that stuff so that was understandable to me to see that kind of thing that a slight downturn on subs which sadly that affected me trying to get to a thousand before the end of the year which I'll get that shortly after at this rate because I need like 55, maybe 54, one of those. I say that as it goes up. <laughs> and I need more. But it's just insane. Seeing like, at least recently for me, because I'd actually recorded this like a week ago. And it's changed a lot, the situation. Like a lot more people subbed. I talked about how I wanted to get a rash. I ended up getting a rash. Spoiler alert, you should check down that video. It's a really fun one to make. I was really happy. But there's, it's, at least the end of the year has been really nice to me. A lot of positive trends. I started Fade Zero. Uh, I've gotten overwhelming support over it, even though I don't know why. I really figured more people are going to dislike it than they are. So I feel very cautious. Maybe they like the heel, I guess. The random person that, the one person on YouTube that talks about it and doesn't like it. Uh, you know, it's one way to stand out, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if I'm the one person that doesn't like it. I'm sure there's someone else out there that doesn't. But I just feel like it's a, I just feel like it's a step down from Stay Night, personally. Mainly because the characters seem a little weaker to me. Like, not necessarily... Like, the quote-unquote flaws are better or more pronounced. It's just that I feel like it's just a lot of excuses to have poor decision-making. To be like, oh, it was intentional. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, so they're intentionally stupid then. Those kind of things. I don't know. It's just, eh, I just like that. But I, I'll take support on me disliking it, sure. I mean... <laughs> 
It's I'm going to finish it. Obviously, I don't hate it as like enough to never finish it. That's dumb. Irie still exists, but I just feel like, I just felt like it was gonna be a little bit more negative, seeing uh, someone not have glowing marks about it. So pleasantly surprised, because I just know how some people are with their favorite animes and all that stuff. I'm the exact same about my favorite anime girl, so I can't exactly, you know, blame them. But the next thing I want to talk about is basically how the year went in my eyes and where I could have done better, where I could have done worse, and how I think I came out on at the end. So this year we started off kind of wrapping up a lot of stuff with a... Uh, Subahibi and uh, fuck out random other shit. It really is just one thing. Uh, and then getting into Fate Hollow. Like, there's just a lot of new changing stuff. And I feel like I handled the transitions well, but sadly, I mean, it's kind of obvious the uh, trend, you could say, of hitting rape novels like back to back to back. That was pretty obnoxious, I'm not gonna lie. I should have probably had stricter rules on suggested stuff prior to all of it because I probably wouldn't have even done half of it, honestly. Even though I don't know why, but Tsubahiba gives so many fucking views. But I mean, a lot of dislikes as well because I shit the fuck out of it. Because it was a, it was a shit novel. I. I don't give two fucks if you enjoyed it. It was garbage. Hot fucking garbage. God damn. Deep my ass. My ass is deeper than that nor story. Fuck. But then you get Magico and I said it was worse than Subahibi, but that was kind of an overreaction. I'm not going to lie. It's more mediocre in the sense that it's just really, 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 really bland. And that really pissed me off in a time of, I don't want bland, I want something to stand out. And really, you know, other stuff around it are putting out really great works and interesting hooks after hooks, different, different, different tropes and all these things. And then I have Majikoi over here being really fucking basic with all of its story cliches characters that aren't characters that are just placeholders for ideas all that kind of stuff it really really set me off because i felt like it should have been better or at least not as confined especially from what i was hearing about it how this is massive massive like thing uh, genre, or not genre, but massive universe and story and series. I was hoping it would actually be a lot deeper than what it was, and I was let down on that, and I was really, really pissed off about that. I'm not going to lie. Other than that, I got to finish Little bu Busters, and God, that was a good novel. Really, really long, but fantastic. I am so glad I re read that. Definitely probably the highlight of this year so far. Fate Hollow was really good as well. I have finished it, just for the record. And the finishing of it will probably be in 2020. So, to bring in the new year, it'll just be the end of Fate Hollow. And transition into uh, Catherine. Because I really want to play Catherine, and I have played a little bit of it. I say a little bit, but kind of finished it as well. Because it was really short. At least one playthrough of it. And it was really, really really fucking good i mean my lord i love catherine so i hope everyone will enjoy that it's a very good moral based story and i think it's a really nice follow-up to fate hollow with this ideal and all that mm. i think it unironically somehow i'm gonna make it work in in it somehow of being really thematic with finishing fate hollow watch but I really recommend it to anyone who hasn't played it. And if you haven't played it as well, just watch my shit of it. And uh, then it'll be uh, Chrono Trigger after that. 
just a legacy game that I haven't been able to play yet. And I look forward to finally being able to play that after hearing hundreds of things about it. Like just from everyone talking about and games in general and RPGs in general about how that's one of the mainstays of it. So I do look forward to getting to that eventually after Catherine. Other stuff I want to get to is a little farther out because rewrite's going to take a while to finish because I just fin started that Fire Emblem. We'll probably be here for a little while as well. It's fun as well. I love playing Fire Emblem. I am really, really into RPGs right now. And I think it kind of shows with my enthusiasm in the games. But that's probably about it for this year for what I've done. So I, I feel like I did more... Well, I finished more things last year with all of Fade and shit like that. And Umineko. Like, the really big stuff I finished last year. But it feels like this year was more of a transitional phase into the next wave of really big titles and all that of what I'm going to be doing. So, I'm really excited for next year, 2020. I feel like it's going to be a really fun year for me. A really good year. With a lot of, lot of different shit that I'm going to get into. And I hope everyone enjoys it as well. Because I wouldn't be doing this if people didn't enjoy it at all. And uh, I just want to thank everyone once again. For actually sticking by, watching all this stuff. Even with having to cut down videos and all that. And I really don't like doing that. It really hurts to do to feel like you're kind of failing people by not being able to put out as much as you quote unquote should be or what you were able to at one point I, it feels awful really fucking shitty and it's hard to kind of overcome that nagging sense I'm gonna be completely honest but outside of that I really really like this new direction of one one episode a day i feel like it's manageable for everyone watching i'm not burning through games as fast as i was which is a downside but a positive as well because if you get behind it's really hard to catch up so think of this as a, a way to catch up on my shit that maybe you didn't get to watch in the past now before let's say god tier amazing things happen like say you donate to my patreon and i end up getting enough off of that that i'm able to do this a little bit more frequently then i'll be able to start doing more shit but right now i'm really limited on what i can do based on time and internet speed so honestly <laughs> i do meme the shit out of patreon but it actually is really helpful and to the currently 14 people supporting it i really thank you uh I can't say enough because that actually has helped me a lot and I've been able to buy things that I needed that I wouldn't have the money otherwise to get I like gas shit like that <laughs> paying for a speeding ticket that I didn't deserve by the way but shit like that it's like amazing I wouldn't have even thought that like Past me is such an amazing, such an amazing person to me right now and future me, setting these things up for me, setting me up for better things. And I'm gonna calm down on the showing of Patreon, but it's really, really nice to everyone who does it. But everyone on the Discord as well that's still there, really, really, really appreciate everyone there, especially the active ones. Even though I kind of purged the inactive ones, which, to be fair, I feel completely justified in. If you've been purged, sorry. I I like people who talk. If I'm going to have a poll, I want people who are, you know, plugged into the channel, talking with the group, rather than just someone who just observes the group, right? Because I don't want that kind of idea to push a narrative for a whole group of people that are, even if it's, say, like a vocal minority, quote-unquote, they have the voice that's being spoken. They shouldn't have their voice squ quashed because people who don't talk are t 
pushing that non-talking onto them. But that's my personal beef with the uh, lurkers and uh, my ongoing crusade against all of them. It's nothing personal, sorry, but sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. And other than that, I really... I don't want to, like, gush too much because I know it sounds hollow, but... I am serious, though. I, the amount of support that I've gotten this year has been amazing. Like, I expected a lot more backlash for cutting down on videos and stuff. I was extremely nervous the entire time leading up to it. Just freaking out in my mind. Because I'm really... I am... Even though I come across as, you know, the mask on, this is the mask coming off, that, um, uh, really cold hearted in a way. Like, it, everything people say obviously is gonna affect me, and I really want to put out something that people are gonna enjoy. Even if it's you hate watch it, that's something you're enjoying, quote unquote. Like, I don't want it to be ever. I'm putting out shit that no one wants to watch or no one gets any entertainment value out of because even when I get let's say hyperbolic in a lot of my stuff I'm doing that just for effect if I didn't do it for effect I would be just repeating the same stuff over and over again and I feel like it adds something else to it I guess some people don't really realize some a lot of times I am just being hyperbolic on stuff when i say stuff is literally the worst obviously those are really key words for me of this is either sarcasm hyperbole or just a snide remark about something so if you're like i don't want to say slow about it but if you can't read it too much whenever i use those it's making fun of something <laughs> i feel like some people take what i say a little too seriously I am not really that serious of a person if my constant laughter doesn't clue you in. But I guess it's, I would say it's more my tone. I'm a victim of my tone of voice and how I enunciate myself. It's more dry and uh, deadpan. And people kind of take that as being serious. A lot of times I'm not being serious. So I... It just really pains me to see when some people just take it the wrong way of what I say or don't understand what I'm trying to get out and I have to break it down for them more and then I get kind of annoyed because I have to break it down more for them. But that's just a little insight onto me. Anyways, we're getting close to a thousand subs. I don't know what I'm going to do for it other than cry in celebration. But I really, really don't know what I want to do for it. I should do something special. It's a bigger moment. It's four digits. And I'm not that creative of a person. I'm going to be completely honest. And if anyone has any ideas of what to do, go ahead and tell me. Because your ideas are better than the no ideas I currently have. Because it's just really hard to come up with it. Because I, you don't want to count your eggs before they hatch, right? So you don't want to plan on something as big as a a uh, sub goal when you never get to it, right? At least I feel like it's jinxing it in a way. That if I start planning this thing, like it's all going to fall off the rails and uh, no one's ever going to sub to me ever again and everyone's going to hate me. Like that's the shit that runs through my head. I'm extremely paranoid about things and the future and shit like that, so... For me, it's really hard to sometimes plan in the future because I get caught up in the moment. And that's a big flaw of mine that I really want to work on this next year. But this has actually been kind of going on for a little bit, so I probably should start wrapping it up. But anyways, if you have any ideas of what I should do, go ahead and let, let me know what you would like to see. What are your best moments of this year? Why do you watch me? Shit like that. Answer those questions. I want to know. Because I always love seeing comments. Like, even the, like the people who like say they comment on like two-year-old videos, three-year-old videos. I always like seeing those comments so long as it's not like, Hey, can you do this? Hey, this thing happened. Why do you do that? And it's like, 
Yeah, dog, it was like three years ago. Like, some of that stuff, that kind of upsets me. Or at least annoys me. I shouldn't say upset. It just annoys me when someone's like, oh, the music's loud in that part. On something that's like three years old, there's literally nothing I can do. I'm sorry. Like, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? I literally can't do anything. Telling me is like telling your dog that something's too loud. What can it do? Nothing. I'm sorry I screwed up the volume mixing when I was really bad at this. Even now, I still struggle sometimes with the volume mixing. But it's a little better. But shit like that, like that's the one I don't like seeing. But anything other than that, I, I really like seeing other people's thought patterns and all that stuff. So never feel like you shouldn't comment. It always helps me to see what people say. And I always like people commenting. So, do it, please. Please comment more. <laughs> uh, other stuff. Uh, shout out to all the people on Discord that are active. The mods over there, doing a great job. Even if you bully me the most of out of everyone. Even the people who hate me aren't as mean as they are. It's really just fucking awful. I don't know why I even put up with them. I just get my own server at this rate, but then I wouldn't have someone who made me a free one. Uh, I really love them. They're great. Anyone who does something for the channel, though, I really, really love you. Honestly. Just, I can't thank you enough if you put in time and effort for something that you're not getting any return out of other than you just want to do something for me. I mean, that's the kind of shit that really gets to me. I don't care how small it is or how insignificant it feels to someone. Like, that kind of stuff really gets to me and really, really makes me feel good. Because I inspire someone to do something as well. And for no other reason than I just existed. It's just awesome. It, it's hard to explain why it feels amazing. But it just does. But, anyways, rambling aside, after I thank everyone again... Who watches anyone who's unsubscribed do it again already just subscribe already dude fuck off don't what are you waiting for just do it stop watching my shit unsubscribed do it you're just being a dick i don't like you if you're unsub if you're not sub to me and you watch my shit i don't like you that that's just it and if you aren't going to sub to me, then at least give me money on Patreon, and then I can say I like you instead. Even though if you gave me a sub, that means more than a dollar over there. Just saying. Because the closer I get to a thousand, the closer shit starts to grow faster. Everything. It's just a rocket up at that point. Well, I shouldn't say rocket up. But it is way easier to start growing at that point once you get start getting more eyes in, more impressions, all that stuff. If you want to see it grow, you better hit that sub button. I'm just saying. You want to see me shilling hard for other products. Condoms and shit? Oh, give me those brand deals, please. God, I will insert them everywhere, and you're going to love it. Trust me. You won't, you won't believe how amazing it will be. But in all, re all seriousness, though, thank you guys so much for sticking around with me. We're going near on four years? Fuck, dude. It's so long. <laughs> like, good God. People have been here for four years with me? Why? I haven't even had a girlfriend for four years before. God damn. No way I could get a reg just some random person to stick with me for four years. I'm an asshole. Why do you want to watch me for four years? But any any fan that's been around for whatever amount of time, I appreciate you either way. Especially if you're subbed, you contribute to the channel either in comments, Discord, talks, Patreon, anything like that, or all the above. Like, you're really the backbone of why I do this, the backbone of the channel, and really what keeps me going. Like, the people who really get behind and really are energetic about it and talk a lot... Like, that's why I do this shit. The people who don't care as much or are really quiet about it, 
I don't really do it for you. I do it for the people that really enjoy it. And the more there is of that, the more energetic, the more excited I am to do it. So it's... <laughs> every year I, I get more excited to do this shit. I want to do more games. I want to do different kinds of stuff. And I really appreciate the opportunity that I've been given into doing all of this. And I wouldn't be anywhere without the people supporting me and really just help driving everything that's going on with the channel. And I appreciate that. I wouldn't be any anywhere without you guys. And I never want anyone to feel underappreciated for any of the work they've put in so far or in the future. You are extremely important to me. And I just want you to understand that. I don't say it enough because I don't want to just fill videos with it because then it feels hollow. But once a year, I always want to just take a second, congratulate everyone, say thank you to everyone. So they understand that I, it really means a lot to me. Even though I don't say it a lot, it really means a lot for everything that everyone's put in. I hope everyone has a happy holidays, happy new years. If anyone does the meme of new year, new me or whatever, other shit like that. I really hope everyone has a great year and just enjoys everything that they have. Or, you know, just take solace in. If you ever need something, I'll be there. And if you ever need some help with something, just feel free to DM me on Discord. It got rid of the YouTube DM, so shoot me a Discord DM if you don't want to talk to it in public, or you could talk to it in public on the Discord server anyways. I don't care to talk <laughs> to anyone really about their problems. I'll gladly help anyone with anything to the best of my abilities. I'm here to help you guys. You've given a lot of time and effort in watching my shit. I will put the time and effort in helping you guys if you ever need something. I'm always open. Uh, if I'm asleep, I'll just get to you in the morning. I'm not going to just skip a DM or skip someone's, you know, need for something. Because I always want to make an effort to let people come to me and I want to help them. I feel like I'm a really good problem solver, and I want to do that. It's my way of giving back, I guess. I can't give back monetarily, so I'll just give back through actions, I guess. But that's going to be the end of this video. It's been really fucking long. It's been a lot of thank yous. And I'm looking forward to the future. Uh, hit that sub button. Let's hit 1,000 before the end of the year. Just saying, we can do it. I mean, if you guys stop being lazy with uh, people who are unsub or not subbed to the channel, if you guys actually start subbing, we'd hit it in a day. So stop being lazy and hit the button. Stop being lazy. Hit the fucking button. It's been a new... It's been a fun year. 2019's over. Been a wild ride. 2020 has a nice ring to it. So let's hope, since it sounds pretty epic, that it's going to be a really good year, full of great times, full of getting a thousand subs, full of finishing other shit that I'm starting, finishing Fate Hollow, starting Chrono Trigger, starting Catherine, finishing Catherine, finishing Chrono Trigger, depending on how long it is, and then just getting on with the next amount of shit that I have and enjoying it to the fullest of it. And I hope everyone sticks around for it because it's uh, it's going to be a fun, fun year. I'm going to enjoy it, and I think everyone else is going to enjoy it as well. So look forward to a fun new year. And thank you guys so much for giving me your watch time, your views, your subs, your Patreon donations, your contributions on Discord through talking, posting images, shit talking me <laughs> arguing with me all those things that uh i wouldn't trade it for the world for uh what i have except maybe for a little bit more i would trade it for a little bit more but thank you guys so much and have a great day have a great week
have a great holiday. Whatever holiday you're celebrating over this next break. I think there's a couple. Have a great New Year's. Uh, I'll probably be on Discord. Maybe. It depends if I'm busy. I probably won't be busy. I'm gonna be honest. And uh, I hope everyone has a great time. And thank you guys once again for the amazing support that everyone's given me. Uh, there's too many people to actually like individually name off, but you know who you are if I like you. I've constantly talk. I constantly talk to the people I really like. So if I really like you, you already know you. Re I really like you, and I really appreciate all the effort you've put in. And I hope next year's better. Let's hope for a thousand. If I can't get it this year, uh, and Patreon keep going, fade zero. So much as I may dislike it, I like it. The next anime reactions I get to, Fate Geo, F FGO, will eventually will be up there as well. Fate Apocrypha probably as well. Because there's servants in there I want, and I'm selfish and I want to watch what I want to watch. Even if it's going to be <laughs> shit. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I appreciate everything you guys have done. Here's to another great year and breaking more records, views, watch time, all that stuff. And thank you all from the bottom of my heart. But we gotta get back to work.